Hi, it is Friday, August 13th, and today, a month early, the FDA approved medication that treats the disease I have, VHL. It will stop or slow the growth of the tumors. It's the first medication for VHL. It's a big day. It's not approved for tumors that need surgery right away, so I still have to have surgery, but it will help with all the other tumors and everyone else with VHL. Sometimes one day changes your entire life, but you don't know. You're having a normal day and then the phone rings or life gets interrupted or that car accident happens or whatever and everything changes. Like the headache you wake up with, they order an MRI and find out it's a brain tumor. Like things change, but you don't know that that day your entire life is going to change. But this is different because today is a day where I know that my entire life is going to change and I know it's happening today. If you've been through that, please leave something in the comments down below and let me know about a day where your whole life changed. And so I know that's happening today and I'm on standby waiting for it to happen. I have to wait from 8.30 to noon and it's 9.30. I'm distracted. <laughs> It's here. It's really here. Okay. And a packet to go with it. All my information. Here's the story about this. I have to set it down because it's loud. <laughs> so 18 years ago, I had a really bad headache. <clears throat> and I went to the doctor like three different times. And we tried an infusion and migraine medicine and the headache didn't stop. It got worse. I had kind of knots in my vision. Um, sometimes I had double vision. So he ordered an MRI and then he called me that night and told me that I had a brain tumor. He didn't know what kind, he thought it was cancerous. In the morning I was throwing up and it was probably mostly nerves, but the headache didn't help. And so he told me to go to the emergency room at the hospital in Seattle. So I went to the ER and they admitted me through the ER they looked at my scans and they figured out that I had von Hippel-Lindau disease. Definitely one of those days where you find out your life is never going to be the same. <laughs> von Hippel-Lindau affects, for me, affects my brain, spinal cord, eyes, ears, pancreas, and kidneys. I grow tumors in all of those places. So I've had two brain surgeries, three kidney surgeries. I've had my eye lasered and I've had ear surgery to remove the tumors. And we're still watching tumors in my brain, spine, pancreas, kidneys. We check my ears and there's one we're watching in my eye. So in 2016, a clinical trial started of a new drug that could be used as a kind of chemotherapy, really, uh, a medication that uh, people with VHL would take every day and they were hoping it would stop the growth of the tumors in their kidneys because the kidney tumors and the pancreatic tumors are cancerous. And so they have to really be watched. I mean, a brain tumor is bad, but if it isn't cancer, it's not gonna to spread to another part of your body. Spine tumor is bad because you wanna walk, <laughs> but if it spreads, it's not gonna to spread to another part of your body. But uh, kidney tumors and the pancreatic tumors are cancer. So if they spread, they could kill you. So for 18 years, I always knew how I was gonna die. I knew that I would die of kidney cancer probably, or pancreatic, that it would spread to my lungs and I would die of lung cancer. 
though I've never smoked, not a day, not a puff in my entire life. When I got the HL life expectancy was 50, and since then it has changed for women, I think it's 62. I'm already 54. For 18 years, 18 years, we scanned me and 18 years they said your tumors grew and some of those years they said and they need surgery, including this year. I had kidney surgery to remove the two biggest tumors on my left kidney. But in August of this year, the FDA approved that drug in clinical trials for people with von Hippel Lindau. It's put out by Merck and it's called, the brand name is Wellrig. It's uh, Belfutazan is the generic name. Yeah, you gotta handle it with caution and it comes from an oncology pharmacy. So it like comes from people getting their chemo getting mailed out to them. And I had hitches. Um, the first thing is the medication costs $26,000 a month. But the insurance company decided to pay part of it. I mean, it is FDA approved. And then the pharmaceutical company, Merck, also had a coupon. It took a while to get the coupon set up. And then they were supposed to send it to me and they never called to set it up, so I had to call and get it set up. It was contraindicated for one of my medications. So one of my medications, it stops working if you take this medicine. So I'm still working on getting a new medication to replace it. But here's the thing about this medication. The people who took it, there were 61 in the clinical trial, and I think one quit because of the side effects. But 60 people, and they took it for like five years, and 100% of those people saw their tumors stop growing and like 30% of them saw their tumors shrink. Now that I'm gonna start this medication, I don't know. I don't know if I'll die from von Hippolindau. I'm a Christian, I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior and I believe that I will be with him in heaven, but I always thought I knew how I was getting there. So this is that day. This is the day where the medicine came and I know my whole life's gonna change. I can't take it now. I meet with the doctor and he has to instruct me on how to take it. I guess they don't just let you start a chemotherapy drug all haphazardly. So I've got doctor's appointment to go on and I have to find a different medication for a rescue med when I get a really bad migraine. And so I'm still working on getting that appointment with the neurologist, but it's here. I thought I'd be all happy, but it all just seems very serious to me right now. This little blue pill, it might be saving my life. Isn't that crazy? Let's see what happens. We just left my appointment to see the, turn out to be pharmacist, and have my um, blood drawn to start the new medication. But I had a couple questions. She's gonna relay them back to the team and then we'll pick a start date for the meds. So I'm not just going home and starting them tonight. So that's a little bit of a relief because it seemed a little hasty, but you know, we're not gonna put it off forever either. So I'll let you know when something changes. And it is my first night, November 15th, 2021. I am going to take my oxygen reading. There we go. I bought this when the popular sickness came out because I wanted to make sure I knew when to go to the hospital. 96. So I have a baseline now before I start to drug. And now I'm gonna take Relorig Pelsudafan. So I have to take three a night. Oh, they're kind of big. There they are. Never thought I'd be on chemo. And so it begins. Day one. I feel nervous. 